Hey everybody, it's Dan, and welcome back to No Cones Garage. On this episode, we're going to get the roll cage put together and take it off the build table so we can fully weld it. Miata that I acquired um, and typically Miatas you know they end up with these cages that the door bars are a little bit below the door handles so I just wanted to compare the door you know this is going to be the door opening that I have and if I line it up with the top of the Miata window you know it comes down to almost the door handle that's a little bit obviously shorter in length um, but the bulk of the opening is similar size. So we're doing the side impact uh, it's settled on an X brace. Um, the reason I've ended up doing this is the NHRA requires a tube to run continuous from here to here. Um, they don't have allowance for something like NASCAR bars uh, or an FIA uh, spec which the FIA spec would tend to have a, a this bar would have a bend like that and like this and they'd meet in the middle. Um, that was the way I intended to do it, but after looking at the rules, it's just not going to work um, and, and ensure that it's NHRA compliant. The thing I don't like about the X is right here, if this bar continues and this bar splits, you have one bar in the middle um, in an impact. Whereas, you know, you really if you do the FIA style, you end up with two stacked on top of each other. Um, NASCAR style, you end up with at least two. Um, but it is what it is. Um, for the challenge, I'll run it just like this. And then afterwards, I'll add uh, gusset plates that will wrap around um, and, and give it more volume and bulk in this area. So to build this, uh, what I'm going to start with, is I put the tape on, um, so I'm just going to start by getting the angle here, um, and then we'll, we'll measure that angle. Um, and because it's going to have a bow in it, I'm going to bend it all the way out to the door, um, which is about a, a six inch bend. So to ensure that I've got enough tube, I'm just simply going to measure along its path, including the bend. Um, so I got 42 inches. So I'll cut a piece 42 inches, put this angle on the end, and then bring it over here and figure out you know, where to place the bend.
All right, so we're going to prep the ends of these tubes for welding. So when we run the hole saw down through this, the notcher, we get these really sharp edges. And we could just clean those up and weld, but you'd see you'd be welding to really thin material. So what we're going to do is we're going to grind them back perpendicular to this inside edge, pretty much all the way around. Alright, so then you're left with this shape. You can see I cut mostly back to the edge. So the advantage now is when we lay this other tube in to weld, you can see when we go to fill this, we'll have pretty much the thickness of metal all the way around to weld. And it'll help with penetration, it'll help ensure a full thick weld. Compare that to the other end that I haven't done. And it looks really tight. But again, if you went to weld this, you'd be welding on really thin metal, not full thickness. So with the main structure of the roll cage TIG welded, I was able to put it back on the table and actually try to get in the car. Getting in initially was a little bit tricky, but I quickly realized that if you just put your feet in first, then reach up, grab the upper roll, roll bar, and lower yourself in, it's pretty easy. So that's going to do it for this episode. Join us next time as we start working on the front suspension. As always, thanks for watching. Fat guy in a little car. Fat guy in a little car.